It's a July morning on a beach in Europe, the last day of your holidays. You use your mobile phone to send a text message and then close your eyes. Your words are picked up by local telephone lines and transmitted from one network to another until they reach the country where your boyfriend lives. This is called roaming. Telephone companies generally charge too much for this service, which resulted in unpleasant surprises at the end of the holidays. But roaming prices have now dropped dramatically thanks to the European Commission. The Commission is a group of politicians, men and women, who meet every Wednesday in Brussels. We call them commissioners. Together, they form the government of Europe, so to speak. They all have their own specific field of responsibilities and come from different countries. It is their role to defend the general interest of the European Union. When they take their oaths, they swear not to accept instructions from their own government. Each commissioner expresses an opinion on all subjects and contributes to all decisions. It is often said that the Commission is the driving force of the European Union. Its main role is to take the initiative in proposing EU legislation. For instance, the College of Commissioners was the first to conceive of the possibility of reducing roaming tariffs in Europe. This proposal was then examined and adopted by the other European institutions. You benefit from that initiative a few years later, lying on your deck chair. To end your holidays, you stroll along the water's edge for a while. You still do not know it, but it is the European Commission which makes sure that the water lapping at your feet is not polluted. The quality of bathing water is enshrined in EU law. And if the member states refuse to take the necessary measures to ensure the cleanliness of their shore, the Commission may penalize them in its role as guardian of the treaties. A few hours later, you arrive at the railway station. You will very soon be with your boyfriend. And once again, strange as it may sound, this is partly thanks to the European Commission. Its third major task is to manage the policies and budget of the EU. For example, assistance for the regions and their infrastructures. The Commission is responsible for organizing the European financial support granted, for example, to airport, motorway and railway projects in Europe. Without it, the train taking you at 300 kilometers to your boyfriend would probably not yet have been built. Halfway through your journey, you go to the buffet car to drink an espresso, while you watch the sun blinking behind the line of trees. Before it warmed your hands, the coffee which you're enjoying grew far away from here on the plateau of an African country, and it reached this railway carriage partly thanks to the Commission. The Commission is responsible for performing tasks on behalf of the European Union outside its borders. In practice, this involves negotiating commercial treaties with foreign countries on the basis of a mandate entrusted to it by the member states, and also establishing development programs in emerging countries. In Africa, these programs help to develop coffee exports, for example. Right of initiative, guardian of the treaties, policy implementation and international dimension. In one day, from the beach to the arms of your boyfriend, the work of the European Commission has made your reunion easier.